Breaking news at the top of this hour, uh, Brandon Ayuk officially requesting a trade, according to my NFL Network colleague, Mike Garofolo, who, uh, based on where he's zooming in from right now, broke that on uh, the fourth tee, I think. Where, where are you out there, Mike? Uh, we're on 17 now, uh, and Alex is heading. Go ahead, Alex. Sorry. Just met Alex a couple <laughs> Go ahead, Alex. hours ago. Hey, Alex, we're uh, trying to conduct an interview here. Just see, Mike's got to push through and tell us about Brandon Ayuk. Give, give us the breakdown Alex here, has, Mike, in case you're up soon. Yeah, Alex has no idea what's going on. Uh, yeah, Brandon Ayuk has spent this offseason with the 49ers trying to get a deal done. Um, they made it a run at it in May. The Niners made their offer. I believe it was our buddy Mike Silver that reported that that offer was in the area of $26 million. Uh, or maybe it was before May that they offered that. I'm trying to remember the timeline on this one. Uh, that's my understanding. That's where they were. You've got Devontae Smith at 28. you got a couple other guys at 28. I think Jalen Waddle was at 28, so that was higher than that. Um, and then you've got the big guns are in the 30s. So Brandon Ayuk was seeing this receiver market uh, and wanting at least on par with those other guys. They didn't quite get there. Uh, so they had a reset recently. They had a conversation. Uh, it didn't Nothing came out of that, uh, except for some things that both sides wanted to get off their chest, from my understanding. There was no contract offer made after that. So now here we are with Ayuk saying that, uh, yeah, it's 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 time to officially request a trade. I know that some folks have said, you know, his agent has scoured the market for trades or, or, or whatnot, but not until today have we had an official request for a trade, Tom. Well, immediately Chris Brockman asked me on the air here, Mike, uh, you know, yeah. where, where is he most likely to get traded to? And my answer was, I don't know. As Mike tees up his ball. This is fantastic this is theater. Awesome. You're going to watch this. You're going to watch the shop. Absolutely. Can you, can you, can we back it up? Now watch this drive. Yeah, well, oh. Hold on. Let's see if we can do it this way. What do you think? All right, here we go. This is Mike Garofolo on this the is, tee. This is the big This is a lot of, this is a lot of pressure right. here. There are trucks freewood? on the freeway. There is netting. So he's not going to kill anyone with his shot. A little over the top. How do we hit it, Garofolo? Pull it. That's going to play nicely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that, was, that was solid. By the way, this is, this you is didn't golfing in Yeah, you see the semis behind me? Yeah. It's not like Augusta out here. What course is this? Where are you? you, you in the, at the shore? Skyway, right by my house. Skyway in Jersey City. Got it. So this is like this is how we have to tuck courses in here with the uh, Pulaski Skyway in the background. So so Brockman asked me where are where is Brandon Ayuk most likely to trade? Yeah. My answer was I don't think he's any more likely to be traded now than he was prior yeah. to officially requesting a trade because any pick you would get as the 49ers would be a 2025 pick. It doesn't help you try to win a Super Bowl now. You could talk player for player and things like that. Those are those are pretty rare. We know Brandon Ayuk wants to get paid. That's the bottom line on his end. Bottom line for the 49ers is it seems, Mike, and correct me if I'm wrong, they want to win a Super Bowl and they're planning as if Ayuk is going to help them do it. Yeah, I, I don't I, I, not to belittle my own scoop here, but I, I don't think anything changes today from the 49ers standpoint because he said, I officially want to want to trade here. Um, they have been adamant both privately and publicly, too. They have been adamant that they're not looking to trade him. And I think that's going to continue to be the case here. And I also think that they're going to lean on the fact that um, they had this with Debo Samuel. Uh, last year or the year before, it was the year before, right? Uh, right? They had this with Debo Samuel. They were able to work their way through it uh, and come to an agreement on a contract extension at some point, and they feel like they're going to be able to do that once again. So uh, the question now is what happens when we get the training camp? And right. I believe Brandon Ayuk will show up. I don't know that for sure. I believe he will show up. You know, what happens after that? Obviously, he wants to protect his money. Can they get – something done can they re-engage at that point sure i mean no, nobody says that they can't re-engage or anything like that uh so this is going to be something that we're going to watch as they report and as they get the training camp and then obviously as they get closer to week one do you believe mike and this will be the last question because i know you, you got the fairway wood out how far are we from the how far are we from the pin right here no no, no. i hit this up to you. i'm putting this away where you are now so i left my uh, jordan run on i played golf with him the other day mm -hmm. covers the giants uh i left my rangefinder in <laughs> He has it. I don't have a range finder, so I got to eyeball this. I got to go old school. Oh, God. Uh, about 10 out, I want to say. All right. So, last thing, I'll let you go. We, we only got one minute left of this segment anyway. Based on your understanding, does Brandon Ayuk, 
intend to play? When we get to week one, forget camp. Does he intend to play if there's not a new deal in place, or does he believe he's going to end up ultimately playing his next snap for some other team? Uh, wait, if there's not a deal in place and he doesn't get traded, will he play? That was basically your question. Right. Uh, yeah, I think it might that be the case. I mean, I think at that point you're licked and you realize, all right, I'm going to have to play out this year, and then I'm a free agent, or I'm franchise tag, which is another thing that the 49ers have working in their favor. So um, I believe if nothing comes of anything here, then yes, he is going to uh, he is going to play Week One for the San Francisco 49ers. That wasn't my ball. Oh, I'm up here. I'm even better. Than I thought. <laughs> oh I'm my gosh, what's happening? Mike nearly just uh, lost a, his entire uh, skins game. Two stroke penalty by hitting mean, the wrong I ball because ball. he's he's busy talking to us idiots out here. So you got what well, you got 100 100 some to the pin here. We got to go in 30 seconds. But if you okay. want to blast this thing real fast before we break, feel free. Do you need to line it up? I got, I, I got the wrong. I got the wrong club. How much time we have? We'll say. All right, we'll save it for the real cool only segment, which starts in twenty seconds here. So stay, stick with us. We can we can mute Mike for now. Okay. Keep him up. Keep the Zoom live. We will, we will have uh, Mike's. Uh, we will have Mike's follow up shot here momentarily, and we'll also continue to talk more. I'm sure about Brandon Ayuk through the course of the rest of this show. Even though, as Mike said, not a huge substantive change yet. That's right. The radio hard eye. It's not for another 20 seconds, is it? I messed that up the first day every single actually time. See, we've had people on the phone before, like Larry Fitzgerald and others, but to actually see their shot. This is That's a, the thing. Rich Eye is an exclusive. This is, this is how you want that sports semi. This is how you get <laughs> this is it. This how you win. About. I want to hear All right, let's get back to let's get back to Garofolo. He's he's back in the card. He's got got the, I think that anyone watching wants to see. Now, Mike, the key yeah. is, is there anyone else who can hold the phone so we can see where this well, lands? I'd really love to see it on the I think, green. We got, I think Alex is a little uh, freaked out slash annoyed with the way that I'm playing this round right now. And I just met him, like I said, a couple hours ago. So I'm not going to have him do it. I can <laughs> you're put you're, you're with, with a random, random, while, doing, with a random? While, <laughs> while zooming with us on the course? He doesn't know what's going on. He has no <laughs> idea. Talk, like, we, he, Tom, you know that point of the round where they go. So what do you do for a – you go, oh. I, I, that's why I don't play. I don't play with anybody I don't know. That's why I don't play yeah. much golf. I you don't have that many you friends. Play with randoms? And I refuse to go oh, out there with people I don't wow. know. All right, we got 55 right, seconds, on, Mike. On. Let's let's set it up. Oh. I want to see if you can get us behind you. I'd love to see the green. If not, just get the reaction after. There Are it you is. in the shot? It's Mike Careful. You're in the shot. This is beautiful. Right. I'm amazed, Mike, at Mike's camera work here above I mean, all else. No practice swing. He's going right up to it. Alex is pissed off watching well, this that's shot. A good swing. He's got a, a nice, nice stroke. Nice hey, stroke. Bite. Oh, he's How do we do? Happy. Doesn't look, doesn't like no. it. Doesn't over, like it. over the green. Look happy. Um, I'm off the green to the right. Oh. Uh, pushed it. He is. He's yeah. hitting golf balls. He's breaking scoops. He's driving around and ticking off his new friend Alex, who is now not going to buy him a white claw at the <laughs> 18th hole. Mike, thank you very much for joining the show, buddy. We'll see you soon on the Insiders. All right. See you, bye. See you guys. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.